Module 3, Lesson 8, Objective. Add fractions to and subtract fractions from whole numbers using equivalence and number line strategies. Here we have 1 plus 1 and 2 fifths. We'll start at 0. First says to travel 1. We can travel 1 unit. Where are we at? 1. We still need to travel 1 and 2 fifths. We'll start at 1 now and travel 1 more unit. Where do we land? 2. We have traveled this other unit with that 1 there and with that 1 there. How far do we need to travel still? 2 fifths. We'll make two smaller units there, indicating fifths, and we will travel those two fifths to get two, two, and two fifths. If we looked at the rest of that number line, where it is that we had three there, we would have to have something along the lines like that there, where it is that we had fifths there. So that we have 1 plus 1 and 2 fifths equals 1 plus 1 plus 2 fifths, which does equal 2 and 2 fifths. Here let's work out 1 minus 1 fifth. Let's draw a number line. We'll start at 0 again. And we'll travel to 1 to begin with. And this time, however, we are subtracting one-fifth from that. Our answer is going to be in between what whole numbers? Well, in between 0 and 1. We know we have to divide that into five parts there. Let's label those parts. One-fifth, two-fifths, three-fifths, four-fifths, and five-fifths does equal 1. We're at 1. We subtract one-fifth, meaning we travel to the left on our number line, so where it is that we are subtracting one-fifth, so minus one-fifth there. So our answer is four-fifths. One also does equal five-fifths, so five-fifths minus one-fifth does equal four-fifths, which is what our number line is showing. I have 3 minus 3 fourths. I'm going to show it this way here, where we have 0, 1, 2, and 3. And then so, I already know that I'm starting at 3 now. So I have 3, and I'm actually taking away 3 fourths. I'm taking away 3 fourths. Am I taking away more or less than 1? Oh, less than 1. So I know that my answer should be in between 2 and 3. I also know, because I'm taking away force here, that I should divide our number line into smaller parts. So I've divided that into 4 of those equal parts. So I'm at 3, and I'm taking away 3 force. So I'll travel 1, 2, and 3 to be able to get to this number right here, which would actually only be one-fourth away from two, which is also equal to two and one-fourth. So three minus three-fourths does equal two and one-fourth. I could also rewrite this problem as follows. I know that three does equal two plus one. And when I look at that one, then I know that I am still subtracting three-fourths from it. So I have 2 plus 1 minus 3 fourths. 1 minus 3 fourths is 4 fourths minus 3 fourths, which does equal 1 fourth. So I have 2 plus 1 fourth, which does equal 2 and 1 fourth. So my numbers approach matches what it is that I was drawing with my picture.
Here I have another problem, 3 minus 1 and 2 fifths. Drawing my number line, let's think about how it is that this looks. Here's 0, here's 1, and 2, and 3. I know I'm starting at 3, and I'm taking away 1 and 2 fifths. Let's think about this here. 3 minus 1 and 2 fifths is the same as saying 3 minus 1 minus 2 fifths. So if we take away that 1 first, we would actually travel from 3 all the way back to 2 to begin with. So 3 minus 1 is 2 minus 2 fifths. So we've rewritten that so that we are not subtracting a mixed number now. We're only subtracting a fractional part. So just as before, with 2 minus 2 fifths, we know our answer will be in between 1 and 2. We know that we are talking about fifths, so I will divide this into four parts. I'm sorry, draw four lines to divide it into five equal parts. And I know that I travel back 2 fifths for the minus 2 fifths that I was at because I was now at 2 instead of 3 because I was subtracting 1 and 2 fifths. So I am at 1 and 3 fifths, which will be my answer. Looking at this another way, 2 can be expressed as 1 plus 1, so that we have 1 plus 1 minus 2 fifths. 1 minus 2 fifths is 5 fifths minus 2 fifths, which does equal 3 fifths. So we have 1 plus 3 fifths, which does equal 1 and 3 fifths. Okay, it's your turn to try. Here we have 4 minus 1 and 1 half. Remember to think about this first as 4 minus 1 and then minus the half, and then you can rewrite it so that it's even. So we would draw that number line. Here's 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. First we would be at 4, and then we would subtract 1 to get to 3, so that we would have 3 minus a half. And so we know we're talking about halves. Our answer is going to be in between 2 and 3. So our answer is 2 and 1 half, where we would draw our arrow back from 4 to 3 and then back another half to get to 2 and 1 half. Using our approach here, as we did before, we could break up 3 into 2 plus 1 minus a half, 2 plus 1 minus a half is 2 plus 2 halves minus a half, which is 1 half, so that's 2 plus a half, which is 2 and 1 half. So our number line is helping us further understand how to work when we're adding and subtracting these fractions from that whole number.